Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, we're going to take a look at support um, of HEVC or H.265 within obviously High Sierra. And uh, here we got a, a small video clip and simply by opening it up in QuickTime uh, right here you can actually export it as um, right here HEVC and there is a selection in the bottom you can use the uh, higher compression scheme and actually we're going to uh, change the name and uh, let me see here uh, we're going to name that number two and uh, we're going to save it as well now also interesting to note um, I did some testing on this as well and uh, it doesn't seem to uh, support dual processors as far as uh, the new Mac Pro. Supposedly it will work with uh, QuickSync. I'm hoping it will as well uh, for uh, on the regular consumer computers but hopefully when the support comes to Final Cut Pro 10 and some of the other ones it will utilize dual GPUs um, to do that as well. Now when I first utilized it it actually took 30 minutes. I don't know. It was just after I installed it the first time. But uh, now it seems to be uh, working more than uh, quite a bit faster, and uh, we're going to go ahead and wait till uh, that actually re-renders out, and then we're going to compare the two, the uh, H.264 versus the H.265. Quality should be almost uh, exactly the same. Might be slightly degraded because we're recompiling it, obviously, but uh, we should see and uh, takes less than a minute we're gonna go ahead and not pause the video and just uh, let it render out all the rest of the way and uh, should be just a couple more seconds just uh, bear with me wow okay it should be finalizing yikes okay there we go That should do it. So we got less than uh, five seconds here. Okay, in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and open up um, the source file and uh, the original file. In fact, we'll just go ahead and uh, minimize that. Okay, the original file we're getting about. 38.8 megabytes uh, file size which is almost uh, 39 uh, megabytes now we'll go ahead and take a look at the file size for H.265 um, we're actually showing 12.3 megabytes so actually it's more than 50% uh, reduction and they said uh, usually gets around 40% smaller file sizes roughly so actually that's really great and uh, maybe we'll do let me see what we got the uh, video right here and that was the original we're gonna go ahead and open up Okay, this is uh, number two, and uh, number one. It's really going to really hard to tell the difference per se, unless you're really into pixel peeping, I guess, to uh, show the quality. And they're very similar uh, as far as quality goes. There you go. Uh, that's the some of the uh, new features within High Sierra supporting HEVC or H.265.